we can take there are two types of waves here one is and this is another one we can take here mechanical wave mechanical waves and here we can take here electromagnetic waves see these mechanical waves are those waves which need medium to travel we can take example of the sound wave water waves these waves need mediums so mechanical waves require material medium to travel whereas electromagnetic waves do not require material medium to travel we can take example here the light waves and here we can take radio waves so these are the two types of the waves mechanical wave and electromagnetic waves now how does this wave motion takes place so as i have told wave motion is a vibratory disturbance in a medium so when the waves travels through a medium how does particle vibrate now we have to study in wave motion so we can take here wave motion wave motion we categorize in the two parts one is a longitudinal and another one is transverse so there are two types of wave motion longitudinal and transverse now see what are longitudinal wave motion what are, how does particles of the medium move in this case and how does the particles of the medium vibrate in this case first we will study longitudinal here particles of medium vibrate parallel to direction of wave motion that we can say direction of the wave motion direction of propagation of wave so if the wave is going suppose in this direction suppose you have taken wave is traveling in this direction direction of propagation then the particle of the medium vibrate like this if the wave is going in this particles of the medium will vibrate like this this is parallel to the direction of propagation of the wave similarly here vibration of the particles but in the different manner see here particles of medium vibrate perpendicular to direction of propagation of wave so see here what happened here if the wave is going like this this is a propagation of wave particles of the medium will vibrate like this suppose the wave is going in this way particles of the medium will vibrate in this way so this is called transverse wave motion so now there are two types of the wave motion longitudinal and transverse wave so basically here sound is an example of longitudinal here we take light is an example of transverse wave so as we have told these most two common form of energy sound and light so sound is kept under longitudinal and transverse is here for this vibrations of the particle take care medium must be elastic medium particle must have inertia so inertia and elasticity of the medium is required to get wave motion and propagation of the wave 